The transition to kindergarten is a notable milestone for children and families, who typically prepare by gathering school supplies and meeting the teacher. New research suggests that one important way to prepare for the transition to first-time schooling is to develop a bedtime routine in which children consistently get at least 10 hours of sleep at night, which will help them adjust during the transition. In a new study published in the journal Pediatrics, a team of researchers led by Doug Teddy, Distinguished Professor of Human Development and Family Studies, Professor of Psychology and Pediatrics, and head of the Department of Human Development and Family Studies, found that in addition to an ESA. This was found after statistically controlling for families' income to needs ratios, child health status, and number of missed days of school. The researchers used a movement tracking watch to record 220 children's sleep habits for four week-long periods across the course of their kindergarten year, starting in July-August before the academic year began. We found that children who had 10 or more hours of sleep per night on a regular basis, particularly before the kindergarten year began, tended to maintain that more optimal sleep pattern across their full kindergarten year, said Teddy. Getting 10 or more hours of sleep over the course of 24 hours did not have any influence on the child's transition to kindergarten. The finding suggests that, making up, for less sleep at night by taking naps during the day does not have great value in helping children make the adjustment to school. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine AASM recommends that kindergarten age children should get 10 to 13 hours of sleep across a 24 hour time period. However, the outcome of this study indicates that, for those children about to start formal schooling, those hours should be concentrated at nighttime to have the most impact on a child's transition to and success in kindergarten. For families anticipating their child starting kindergarten, Teddy suggests setting routines and expectations for healthy sleep hygiene even before school starts. Sleep hygiene is the habits we adopt that influence how we sleep, said Teddy. Good sleep hygiene for children should include organized and consistent bedtime routines limited screen access, and a bedtime at or before 9 p.m. Teddy recommends avoiding screen time, including TVs, video games, and tablets, at least 30 minutes before bedtime. He also recommends being involved and present during children's bedtimes, implementing a consistent calming bedtime routine that helps prepare children for sleep. That routine could include bath time, reading a book, and talking in a quiet environment. Good sleep hygiene appears to be just as beneficial for young children as it is for adults. These are promising results, and we hope to test them further in a future family intervention study. This research was funded by the National Institutes of Health. Materials provided by Penn State. Original written by Mary Campbell. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Douglas M. Teddy. Corey J. Whitesell. Jacqueline A. Mogul. Brian Crosby. Orfeu M. Buxton. Karen L. Bierman. David M. Almeida. Sleep Duration and Kindergarten Adjustment. Pediatrics. 2022. DOI. 10. 1542, PEDS. 2021-054362 Penn State. Healthy sleep habits before kindergarten help children adjust to school. Science Daily. HTTPS colon slash slash ift. TT, D56 PBHF. Access July 22, 2022.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.